Have you ever asked yourself the question, what would happen if you just followed your intuition and made that scary jump into the unknown? Well, I did. And an even more important question I asked myself was, how can I create a life where I can be true to myself, give back, feel less stressed and more balanced? And yes, of course, many called me a dreamer or even crazy. But in 2011, I decided to give it a try. And I said farewell to my well-paid but very stressful job as a photo editor for the biggest newspaper in Belgium. And instead, I allowed myself to start a new adventure, exploring the world, led by my camera, hoping someone would like what I captured. Starting in Nicaragua, I focused on the vulnerable but very powerful lives of street children. And I called them my heroes, using my camera to teach them photography classes. Or in other words, using photography as a tool to change perspectives. Our perspective. And of course, trusting my intuition initially scared the crap out of me. But guess what? What I felt and experienced pushed me even more to keep going. The world I had entered was scary, but also real. And more than anything else, it was pure. And so I decided to go back to Nicaragua. Only this time to live together with poor families in the slums, documenting their daily lives. And what I found were stories of love, fate, and courage. And then I moved to New York, where I met a doula during an assignment where I was asked to invite myself into a house of a complete stranger. It didn't take a long time to realize we had so much in common. Led by my intuition, the wind blew me to Latin America where indigenous midwives opened their hearts and let me into their sacred space. Baby after baby, I documented the beauty of new life, which was at times very messy and weird, just like life. And over time, While this adventure changed me and the way I perceived the world around me, I felt ready for more. Embracing this change and my hunger to express myself opened up the opportunity to receive a master's degree, so soon I added printmaking sound and video to my practice. But no matter who I met or where I found myself, what I realize now is whenever I tap into that creative space, I not only experience less stress, it expands my awareness and makes me a happier person. In other words, being creative pushes me into a life being present in the now. And this, my friends, this is what I like to share with you. How to live a mindful life driven by your own creativity. <laughs>